This is the base station, the center one, and we got 150 foot outdoor rated cable running all alongside there back to the modem. There are the PoE switches and the cable that runs out to them. Run across here. This is the first building with the main outdoor access point on the other side. Have an access point right there, all the way down here, approximately 75 feet, 150 foot cable ran for this. There's the access point. Hope you can see it well. If we go in, another 25 feet or so, the wireless one connected. Yeah. Plugged into the POE. Got one more for a dead spot. three for the left hand side inside it was run on long side here and again about 75 to 100 feet 150 foot or of outdoor cable and it runs up to the unified outdoor access point there and then we have two mimicked in the same location this side here and here when it's solid green it means it's connected just fine if it's blinking green it's, it's trying to connect it's provisioning and obviously if it's red or orange it's disconnected and then the last one on the right So that's the right hand side access point. The network currently has 17 users connected for a unified controller, the modem, one D-Link router, and battery backup. All these shows right here what's connected to what. As you can see, outdoor runs to the two here on the right hand side, outdoor runs to the two on the left hand side. The middle one just controls the middle. The orange and purple basically just shows the coverage area, which is actually larger than that. And the details, if you click on details, you can see MAC address and so forth and so on. I'm running on Windows XP machine. Click on statistics and it shows you the most active client access point, which would be the outdoor run on the right hand side, and the person that's using the most data right there. And we can monitor how many users there is right here. Total of 19. Guess that is. You can click on guess and see all their information. Title, how much they use. You can click on the upload here and click and see. And it shows the ones that's using the most. You can block them unauthorized. So if I close this, 
Well, if I go down to settings, more importantly, shows the system features. So I'm going to go back to settings. This is guest control. This is where you put the password in, right here in guest portal. So again, you go to settings, guest control, and you put, put in your password. So if you wanted to make your password lightning, you just put in lightning. You add it set for 28 days. Use your define. And shows us the restricted subnets there, which you can't use. Don't need to pay that in mind. Go back to settings. And we can see the actual wireless that's being broadcast. And we have you have to have the guest policy. If you want to um, allow them to connect, click apply there. And that's pretty much it. And we have the user group wizard winters, of course. And this will show block devices, which currently we are not blocking any. This is the limit. So if you go in here to settings, users group and routers, renters, I'm, I'm sorry, and you could, we have it set to 25 meg for the uh, fastest download and 2 meg for the fastest upload. So you put them in by kilobytes, kilobits per second. So, and this is admin settings for password and so forth and so on. This is recent events shows when one was a plug or when another guest was um, roamed from one, one access point to another and main connected. And total access points up here, seven. Click on it, it brings down. Shows you how many. covers it, it's just a Windows XP laptop and a unified controller. Okay. And this is what it's gonna bring you up to. And all you have to do is check here for accept terms and condition. You can click on the terms and see. You can adjust them, the terms, suit your needs. And you can also add a home page. And then all we do is type in a password. And connect. Our NSP test from sitting in the car. As you see, we have plenty of bars. All but one. So this would be worst case scenario, someone sitting out in their car and they want to get on the internet, obviously they can. And that one there. And that's our speeds. And keep in mind again, this is literally from access point that's over 50 feet, somewhere around 50 feet away. It's still doing great. Thank you.